Last time, Tony G and Andy Black secured their spot on the final table. Tony G made a crazy call to knock out both Andy and Alex. This isn't poker. I mean, I, I can't commentate this. I mean, what, what is that? This is what everybody wants. I have to do it for all the players at huh? home. On your bikes. I have to learn. It's time to go. It's time to go. Someday, Alex, we can be good enough to make that call. Coming up, tensions rising tonight as the players in the middle of the pack have their last match, and we could see some big swings in the league as time runs out. In the green room now, they're all going, well, if he does this and two points there and I need three points here and, and all that stuff, it's fairly easy for me. I need to win and that's it. I kind of hate the fact that it's all coming down to the wire in this last match. We're all very bunched up and there's a lot of very interesting scenarios, so... You know, going into today, I'm really just concerned about myself. I'm going after all of them, each one of them, and I, I don't take prisoners. Last year, I came here to do a good show, and I came in second. This year, second is not enough. I came here to win this. Although nobody thinks I can do it, I will. If I get no points, I'm probably completely out. If I get nine points, I could be in the top four. I mean, it's quite stressful. I'm going to be drinking lots of cups of tea at the table and, and probably wanting my mum. Two league matches to go and things very much in flux besides the top man and the conqueror, Tony G and Andy Black, guaranteed for that final table. But in the top four, Roland DeWolf and Andy Duke have to score points or risk getting passed by the players behind them and slipping into that playoff zone. These four players at the end of the season, of course, will play heads up matches for the final two seats at the final table. They'd hope to avoid it. And between Sharp, Kravchenko, and Lusk, any top two finish looks to push them over the edge. But they'll have to watch out for the other players in this pack and finish ahead of them. In the relegation zone, the facts are simple. Impossible to go from relegation to promotion, but definitely possible to get into the playoffs. Devilfish, Helpy, and Fraser probably looking for top two, top one. And for Helmuth, not only does he have to win his last match, but things have to break just perfect. This is Premier League Poker, and everything's in play tonight. Tonight features permutations galore. Here to help us through them, Roland DeWolf. Roland, you've looked at the standings. You know the math. What do the players have to do? Jesse, it's going to be fascinating tonight. For a start, Ian Fraser has to win or he's out. He's not even getting in the playoffs. A win can get him into the playoffs. He's only got nine. Vicky, she could go into the final with a win. It should be looking strong. But anything less, and she may not even get into the playoffs. She needs to score highly tonight. So it could be the final for her. It could be out. Very bunched between Annie, Eddie, Alex and Marcel. Yeah, I mean, Annie's in prime position. She's at the front only by a couple of points, but a win for any of those four gets them through. Marcel may be looking over his shoulder if he gets the dreaded bagel, but any of them can win, and a couple of them could drop out. It's going to be a fascinating night. Yeah, there's probably one seat open at that automatic four, but it's not just how you finish, it's who's ahead and behind you, guaranteed to come down to the last card. This is why you play poker, and this is why you watch it. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, the pressure is so intense. It was a valiant try. You get chips on the table, same as always. The yellow chips worth a thousand. Blues are two, reds five k apiece. There's a hundred thousand per player and six hundred k in play. Rolando, what interesting dynamics are presented by the table draw, uh, if any? I think that um, Ian is going to be in a position to attack uh, the blinds on his left, um, and all. I mean, he'll probably be opening more with, with weaker cards rather than re-raising and risking his stack. So the people on his left may have a more difficult time, Vicky Pass. and Alex. And he's played uh, a very steady game during this Premier League. Um, Race to 6,000 total. I mean, this is actually kind of surprising, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because she, she, she doesn't have a huge excuse to come out of the traps. No, she doesn't. And, uh, A7 yeah. is a marginal hand. You could, I think, yes. you could tell she was a bit weak when she opened up. She didn't, didn't like the situation. And Marcel's found a huge hand behind her. Oh, oh. oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it couldn't be aces, could it? Listen, <laughs> boys, and you guys have a nice day. Seriously, and, and, go and, right and, ahead. I mean, Fraser's kind of done here donate because donate my six thousand to the pot right here. He, Wow. That didn't last long. It hasn't, wow. It has not <laughs> been Marcel's <laughs> MO to play these big pairs fast. Oh, MO. No. Um, I mean, what can Marcel do? Awesome. He, what wow. Marcel's <laughs> fa faced with the situation here. This is, this, 
you're saying this is actually a tough no, call. It is. If, if Brazil's got ace, ace anything. They don't like Marcel, but... <laughs> if Fraser's got ace anything and Lusk knows that if he gets knocked out first, he might miss the playoffs. And he's out of the running for the final. I mean... Oh my gosh. Fraser's gone gung ho here. No, for you, a good chance. Is it? I'm not, no, I'm not strong. You're not strong? You should be. I'm not, I just feel like um, I should get it in, really. You might be right, I don't know. Okay, I'll go. Wow. Wow, <laughs> wow. Do you think, wow. would you have done the same thing in Marcel's spot? Yeah, but the table told, you know, down kings kings told him that he doesn't have aces. How can I lay down kings? That is going to be tough for that. Demon. Marcel, what was that long thing? Yeah. What's wrong with aces the first thing? Yeah. What's the long thing? Well, you know that he's got a gamble. If Marcel Lusk gets knocked out, he doesn't out, doesn't have a hand. He might way, be out of the playoffs. This is the first okay. hand of every freaking tournament that you're in. It's your this fault. is great oh, news oh, for right. all the other people around <laughs> in Fraser. Every you time are healthy. The first hand, it's like, oh, there's kings Vicky, behind me. Dave Villiers. I'm glad I didn't go broke this time. I mean, Fraser came in here with it's a game plan, fault, but he kind of pulled the trigger a little it's early there, didn't he? He did. <laughs> I did predict, predict four suck outs. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right there. Wow. Oh, no. Wow. <coughs> How is Marcel no feeling box, now? Is, is the Premier League over for him? 30% of the time. I would have had Marcel like drawing. This could cost him hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's right. Ooh, <laughs> Any heart but the king. Don't tease him, Amanda. I feel sick. I'm not even in this pot. We expected fireworks. Yes! Not so fast. And Marcel, normally a cool <laughs> guy. That's the brandy gun. <laughs> I mean, jumped I, there. I, I I just just down my right now if I Ian Fraser is done. He is out. He is out of the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, he's been relegated. Uh, I know you gamble, but I need I two points. I wish I could have gotten heads up with Marcel. Well, I know that. But it's a sick flop, isn't it? And uh, with that, <coughs> Phil Helmuth also yeah, now officially it. out because Vicky is guaranteed yeah, at least Phil one Helmuth point. Phil Helmuth is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Fraser has just knocked himself and Phil Helmuth out of the Premier League on the very first hand. When the writing's on the wall, it's on the wall. There ain't too much you can do to change it. You try and change your game about a bit. Um, and because of our... Uh, the predicament I'm in today, whereas it's a win only and the other guys are under pressure not to go out first, it was just a great opportunity, you know. Um, and he said to me, he nearly laid it down. No more betting after the call. They just called me all in and their hand was terrible. As far as like, Vicky is concerned right the now, they said I was um, trying to bluff her. If Vicky gets knocked no, out like, next, oh, then TV the Devilfish can wonderful. still get in with <laughs> a second aura <laughs> first. Yes. Yuha at this point needs to win to get in, but if Vicky gets. Uh, one more point, it'll affect the devil fish. And uh, Lusk now with 200 plus thousand. We raised to eight wow. Thousand, I mean, uh, what's the strategy plus. here, point standing wise? Eddie Scharf has 17 and Marcel has 16. Wow, what's Marcel gonna do? Cool. Just cool. But wh why is Eddie Scharf making this kind of play? He feels that his playoff spot is now pretty guaranteed. Uh, and he's going for broke, I suppose. Wow, that's a bad flop for him. Going for broke or going broke. And uh, this will come down to Marcel's read. I mean, it can only cost him a maximum of half his stack here. I, 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 I just wonder if, if, if Sharf is strategically a bit on the edge here. Yeah, I mean, it's an, in an interesting strategy. I mean, it's only hand number four. Wow. I wonder if Sharf is prepared to be slowed down here. Check. Check. I mean, that was actually a, a card that allowed Eddie to slow down, Well, I think it? he was slowing anyway. 20,000. Please, please call me now. Oh. Now, I mean, Roland, we're seeing Hardware. very unorthodox plays here, and I mean, just your is your instinct that uh, that Sharf and Fraser are, were these unorthodox plays dictated by 
by what's going on in the standings or still maybe a misinterpretation? <laughs> I, I mean, it, I think it's, uh, well, Eddie was a bit unlucky that the ace plopped out on the turn and he might not have lost any more chips. It was uh, sort of two out of it to lose yeah. chips. It's it's just a difficult strategy. They're on the line. I mean, Eddie's now going to be guaranteed an 18th place. Uh, 18 points. Sorry, seven, 18 right. points. I mean... And so he doesn't really care if he finishes fifth or eighth. He's going to be in the playoffs. The chance to... Yeah, I mean, Vicky has to come in the top two and some, one of the, the guys has to win the last heat. He's oh, for uh, or, or you see, for, for Eddie to get knocked out. Yeah, I mean right. it's very unlikely. Fast. But if 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 Eddie dusts his chips off and goes out next, it's going to start becoming more of a possibility, it is, isn't yeah. it? No what a great start for Marcel! He's got half the chips in play almost. I mean, I mean he's been gifted them. I mean, I know he had to have some heart to call, but what's up with that? Three thousand. So he's going to win this pot on the turn. Wow, he's made the nuts. I think he might win it on the river at this stage. <laughs> Six thousand. You can just find a call here. Gold. Wow, well played, Marcel. He's got the nuts. He's 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 got Annie drawing dead. Actually. Uh, if she hits a pair here, she might be able to check. Check. And did she? Did she? Queen eyes. Marcel's oh, misread his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he has misread his hand. Oh, that's six, seven. And this is a horrible advertisement for Marcel's range of sunglasses that he's brought yeah, out. Yeah, don't wear sunglasses at a poker table because that's what happens. You should assume you have a It's likely. I'm glad I didn't have a pairing. Well, actually. Actually. No, it doesn't matter because you're too much and you lose control too much. He's not going to get any more money. It didn't cost him a dime, did it, Jesse? No. I wouldn't get anything out of you if you have no hand. Oh, no. Poker specs or poker misstep? <laughs> poker missteps. <laughs> but last cast, two hundred eighty-two thousand. Give me this hand. Welcome back to Premier League Poker, a league format where players are awarded points in the standings based on their finishing position. People who aren't really familiar with these situations, it's it's complicated, isn't it? It is. You, you, want, you want to accumulate chips to protect yourself. It's a lot about self-preservation. But I mean, isn't there a fact that even though Marcel is under pressure point-wise, the fact that he's got more than twice as many as everybody else means he might have two plans, one for the first half of his stack and one yeah, for the second? Yeah, I think that could be right. Do you know, I think I can actually pass this hand. Isn't that strange? I think I can. It is. I, it is. I no, think I can. No shame in passing. <laughs> no, no shame. It <laughs> might be uh, a nine doors. You, 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 you can't that. lose anything with passing. Yeah, right. Why has Marcel okay. limped in yeah, here? Is this just sort of option. back to his old philosophy of being tricky? Yeah, he, he loves to play fancy Marcel. And he gets, and, he, and he's got two pair. Mm. Four thousand. Four. Drawing almost dead. Mar Marcel's played some pots like this with the intention of bluffing on the turn. I don't think he's here to bluff. I think he thinks he has the best hand at the moment. Right. Wow, Annie Duke has just got such a monster. She could even check. I mean, check raise, check to check raise. If she checks, it's probably to check raise. It is to check raises and checks. Check. Marcel's gonna check. check. And now they're all gonna check now. Who has the better kicker? Huh? <laughs> you have the better kicker. What is your kicker? Two and nine or two and eight? <laughs> Maybe two or five. <laughs> 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 he's 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 trying. He, he doesn't. He knows he probably doesn't have the best hand, but he wants to get a good feeling for what everybody else has. Is that what that was about? And he wanted to check ways there. She's disappointed that they checked behind her. She loved the jack of hearts. 
that's a bad card for her. I mean, they're really not going to call now. Okay, 12,000. We've seen Alex make some big calls in the past. I can't see he's going to be calling here with a third player. It would surprise me immensely in this situation. I mean, it wasn't a very drawy board, was it? No. She would have had to be on air early, right? Indeed. He could convince himself it's nines with a lower kicker? Or a six, seven? Pass. Oh. One thing about Annie, she's always very confident in what her strategy is. Um, she's telling everybody that she's in a go for broke strategy. I don't know if that's true or not. A third, fourth, fourth or fifth doesn't do much for me beyond just locking me into the playoffs. So that's why like I might as well just play for second or first because that's the only thing that really swings my results anyway so I definitely feel some pressure to really perform today but with that pressure actually comes some freedom which is it doesn't really matter unless I come in first or second so I might as well just go for it you know is this an indication for your role and the way things are going here of how much these players value a top four spot over a playoff spot? Do you think that's yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, not all of them are very comfortable with it in the heads-up situation. So that was a good start. Pass. Kings, ace, queen. Yes. It's a different game. I think Alex may be comfortable, but I'm not sure about some of the others. You know, the good horse <laughs> didn't, even didn't go, go fast from the start. <laughs> The good horse didn't go fast from the start. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly what situation would Alex be uncomfortable in? <laughs> be careful. You be careful. Oh. Trust, if you say these things, you wake me up. <laughs> you see, now you're alert. Even Vicky was so nice to us first, and now she's even thinking about racing after you, Link. It's only yeah, racing. My, my call looks so weak. Your call looks so weak. Well, is this well played by Kravchenko, yes. or has has Vicky? I think it's well played by Vicky, to be honest. Yeah, but obviously he he's he's going to be well aware that she may not have the ace jack. But he's in a little difficult spot here. I wanted to see the stop. Call. Check. Vicky's been very good on the continuation. Ben, yeah, she's going to need to be here to take it down. If he misses the flop, it's going to be hard for him. Wow. Check. Second pair for Alex. In the aggressive position for Vicky. Well, this is an interesting situation for both. She's going to bet. 11,000. May not have been enough, or was it? I mean, is it enough to look serious, that bet? Yeah. I think he'll call once at least. He's, he hates the latest down in this spot. Th there's something going on here, I believe, oh. Roland, which is that Kravchenko and Eddie on the same points. But I think Eddie is slightly ahead in the tiebreakers. I think. Wow, that's a horrible card for her. Yeah. There's now basically only like one or two hands that beat him, right? Well, she's drawing dead. Okay. It's actually a good card for her to check now, isn't check. it? Check. You know, yeah. She may have lost her in the pot yet. Yeah. I think she was losing it anyway. King, a king. A king would have split. Wow, Vicky. Don't call. 18,000. No, she just think about it at least. Think about it. Cool. Two pairs. And what what was the what what should the the logic have been there? If he had anything to check, he would have checked, and he could only be yeah. betting there if he yeah. had. It looked like it, exactly. it looked like a bluff or something, but she. Nice queen. Nice hand. She played it bad. Sort of. I mean, she didn't even think at the end like that. She thought she had to be good, but she thought if she thought the logic through, it can't really be a bluff there from Alex. That's put her into a serious position, and uh, the fact that Alex uh, did limp in with an ace jack, he's he's got a handle on his chips. I don't know. He might have a lock on them as well. He may have swallowed the key. Pass. 
It's about time he won the heat as well. He's been playing well. Pass. Yeah. Pass. Cool. No way. There are flops here that could could get some action. Um. These guys have it in for each other as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they had a little bad blood the, the last match. Did you have an opinion on Check. that situation? Wow, this is the money's going in here. Yeah. Check. Is that a flush draw? Yeah, yeah. flush draw wow. for Sharf and Lusk the top pair. Eddie bets, if he bets there. There's only 4,000 in this pot. But wow. Look at these guys looking at each other. And he's missing out. I mean. Check. Wow. Marcel's so trappy. <laughs> but Eddie's played well. I mean. Yeah. And he's got there. He's got him. Wow. Eddie could double through here now. There's no, absolutely no way Marcel can put him on a flush here, Kenny. But three deuces, maybe. A lovely bet for Marcel. See, the pot's so small, which is unfortunate for Eddie. Raise 10,000. Wow, this would be an amazing pass if Marcel can find it. It's only a small pot, but a momentum if he calls and loses. I mean, how could he find a pass? I mean, what's Eddie raising with? That's what you've got to put it on. What do you think Eddie's raising with there that Marcel's beating? I don't know. I never, I never think like that. But yeah, I see. It has to. It would have to be a bluff. Yeah. I mean, that's the only. That's the only thing. Yeah. Obviously, it'd have to be a bluff. What's that? Flush. I mean, I'm guessing, nice. Roland, that it just Marcel says, well, he knows that I'm liable to bluff in this spot. And uh, yeah, that's why he may have made that kind of raise. You see, Eddie, live is give and take. <laughs> I call to keep you honest. The, uh, the problem with fear at the poker table, Roland, is there's a, there's a big difference between pretending not to have it and actually not having it. And the difference is that a good player always knows the difference. You yes. know what I mean? <laughs> They can look at Make you and game. figure out if Make you're pretending not to be scared yeah, or if you're actually just everything. not scared. And uh, it's one of the interesting uh, <laughs> things that occurs. But that's, you know, you, you're going to pick Pass. out the people who are just trying to be nasty. Raise 5,000 total. And they try, they think. That, uh, Famous hand in the hands of Tony G. Yeah, the king nine of spades. Is. He plays great, I mean. Race to 17. And it's cool. It's cool. What's the strategy? What's what is what's going through her head? Wow. She's putting the pressure on. But he's a smart player and he might realize this. Yeah, he, he smelt something because if he thought she was strong, she wouldn't. Wow, this flop is... As to how this heat may turn out, this flop could be key because she's... She, if she totally misses here, she has to bet. And if she, she misses and he hits, she's going to lose a lot of chips. But if they both miss... Wow. What if they wow, both it's hit? all going in now. What if they both hit? Well, Kravchenko is the only maybe player in this Premier League who could still play a small pot if he wanted to. 35,000 when she had queens against the kings. Yeah, she could, she's yeah. capable of doing this. The over, big, big over bet. How much? He's and calling. He is calling, Jesse. <laughs> From Kravchenko's point of view, okay, whether he's ahead, whether he's behind, whether it's a race, what is the strategy of whether to call or fold here? I mean, well... Sorry, is it, is he it, needs to win. Yeah. He, he's got to gamble here. He has to go with it. He's got her covered. Um, and I mean, he's got a call. What are the chances in his mind that she has a king with a better that, kicker? What are the chances that she could have that? Why would she play it like that? Right. The last time she double bet a pot, bet twice the size of the pot all in, was when she had the... Oh, uh, gambling. Queens against the Kings. What? Uh, gambling. Uh, I believe absolutely that I am a favorite. That is the truth. That I am for sure a favorite here. 
Otherwise, you would have called immediately. <laughs> I think she's willing to tell him a lot. Maybe she should ask to see one so I can card. I tell you the same thing I said yesterday. If I used to have clubs. Fine. I have the best hand. If you don't, that's fine too. I don't really care. Might as well try to go for first, right? She doesn't look comfortable. Looks like you don't want action from me. <laughs> I don't really care if you call. That's fine. The percentages will come up. I'll be a favorite. She's telling him he like has an ace three of clubs, or he he has to worry slightly more about going out in fifth than Annie does. Slightly more, doesn't he? Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Oh I my knew, gosh, maybe not. Cool. And I'm willing to gamble it. What well, what was the deciding factor for him? See, the percentages are up right now. And it this is a gutsy guy, this Kravchenko, isn't he? I have to call. Yeah. No, I understand. I'm to call so we're just against this hand. I understand. I hit my king. What can we're I just gambling. Whatever. Oh, my God. Was it just the price? I like that you called the re-raise with the king nine of spades, though. That was very Tony G. Just because of Tony. <laughs> but I feel that you're stealing. You know, me. I mean, it doesn't matter. I hit my hand. I'm going to, I mean, if I, you know, bat and you raise, I'm going to call anyway. I've got a pair and a buffer. Can any of you out there say Alex you would have called with this hand? I think Alex has to. But no, Alex has to call because I wasn't he's almost guaranteed a playoff spot if he goes out now. He's got to cover. He's almost guaranteed a playoff spot. He has to go for the win. He is a gutsy man. He is a gutsy, gutsy guy. And he's ahead now. And he's way ahead the door. now. This is terrible funny juke. She cannot make the final unless a club, a three or a seven comes. He's done She's it. gone. She's gone. She's, She's gone. Out. Gone. 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 I can only gone. Be a On your bike. Just time got like it. On your bike. She will be in the playoffs. <laughs> and Alex Kravchenko, he's hard as steel you know, nails. You have, you have the Iron Man. Oh, Alex Kravchenko. What a call. I mean, Ali, Annie is unlucky. She got a big flop. And all of a sudden, you know, you play this hand and sometimes you become involved in a huge pot and you're out. Doesn't matter where you fit it, finish in the playoff spots, you're still going to have to play a heads up match. So that was definitely the way that I treated the problem, right? Which was my fate is in my own hands. And once, you know, certainly once Ian was out and I had one point, it didn't matter to me. True to my word, I'm not just talking out of my ass. I actually gambled it up, didn't I? <laughs> this leaderboard already two-tiered. And with all four of these players mid-pack, it's not only going to be about who wins, but the exact order of finish. And uh, is this bad news for you or help here in the green room? Seems to find a hand in this spot. That's really unlucky. It's 8, it was actually bad news for the devil fish. Uh, what's happening? And you are right. And you are. Yeah. <laughs> the defending champion is on the precipice. If somebody needs to stop me, actually he can make 18. So Vicky's going to have to finish in the top two for him to be eliminated. If you play a big pot, the winner have a great chance to go yeah. to the top four. I, I if Vicky is in the top two, you are is out. Vicky's announced re-raise here. Yeah. And Vicky's kind of said, I have to raise. Lusk raised with the ace five. Kravchenko's called, and this is a re-raise here. Uh, I'm guessing it'll take off Lusk, but what's Kravchenko gonna think? I mean, Alex needs to, Alex's in an interesting spot now where he, he sort of needs to gamble with this sort of hand. You know, even though Vicky really can't no afford to go out next, she also can't afford to be folding uh, ace right. queen. In, in her, in her, with her mindset the way it is now, she just might, she just might have decided she's going to. I don't know, not panic push, but. Oh, yeah, I thought that was coming from Alex. I don't think she's folding. Do you? It's the right play for him, and she's going to call pretty quickly. It's almost like, well, I could get it over she's with. She's putting twenty-five first die. Yeah. She won't be in bad shape. I and was playing against him, <laughs> not against him. <laughs> oh. oh, I've got a really big hand. She has more chips than Eddie Scharf. Or she'll have a bit roughly identical chips if she passes. Wow, for Eddie Sharp, he's just sitting there and people are going out left, right, and center. I mean, and, and, and that has to be okay. a fact. Wow. Yes. 
Does she want to beat she Eddie Sharp? Right. I wasn't bluffing. I so just he's going to have 16. Elliot and uh, Helpy are going to have to win. And second is never going to be enough for them, yeah. whatever happens. So for Vicky, uh -huh. she needs to get in the top two to Come close on, them out. It doesn't matter. One more place makes no difference at all. <laughs> sure. Maybe she wasn't aware of that and she's made a tactical well, misstep. Queen, I... You learned your lesson now. The point situation now is so variable because it all depends on what other people do. It's, it's getting like those logic problems at school, you know. If Annie has 18 sweets and Devilfish drops three sweets on the floor, how many sweets has Roland? You know, I've lost all track. All I know is that I can still get a top four finish and I can still be relegated. So I think I'll just go and play and see what happens. This is the situation where you know she wasn't fully aware of the points. If she knew the point situation there, she would have put her money in. That could be the biggest mistake at the whole Premier League. Apart from Phil Helm of turning up. No, if you go away. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe Phil. Because that was a. That was yeah, I was go. only in the first hand. You so still have chips? I mean, yeah, you had kings. Chips. Big deal. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Only had kings. Wow. That, that, I mean, that was really. I mean, such a tough call. You thought about it for a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. He well, didn't immediately. Yeah. Wow. You had to think. I mean, Nervous really. Of, uh... I have to tip my no, hat, I which to, I do I not have on. I over my program. Huh? Yeah. Ian. Why he stands in this competition and why he's standing in the green room right now? He's standing in the green room. I mean, I don't know. I think they're a little hard on Marcel Roland. It was worth thinking about that call. Of course, it was worth thinking about because of his 16 points. I mean, what if he had aces? Would that be worth thinking about? No rise. I'm not personal. Oh well, you like to see this from Vicky. You like to see this because she's actually gambling a little bit. Now she's gonna. Now she's gonna get all the money in. Yeah. Check. There you go. Check. No, no. Wow. What is what is Marcel C? You've got to put your hand. Wow. Now they do get it in. Who gets it in first? Vicky bets. <coughs> Marcel raises all in and Vicky calls. It's almost like Marcel senses she has something. Vicky bets. Marcel pulls all in and Vicky calls. It doesn't matter though, does do it? That. Wow, he's so sneaky, isn't he? He's unbelievable. She's not a bad person. This is not where he's misread his hand again. Uh, I don't know, but a diamond's catast catastrophe for her. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that's the one card that... Check. She's misplayed the hand, I think. No, she's not. She's got him. She's going to hook him in. She's hooked him in! The nuts! Oh, you hit your ace, Tommy. That's a good one. Does it match? Wow. It's a strange because he's got a good enough hand to check it down. It would be nice if it's the d ace of. He's, he's really. Hand, but you had I mean, nice. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many strange things going on in that hand. I just do not understand. Do you think, Roland, that Marcel bet on the river because he thought she might have had a king with a better kicker? Then I'd. Yes, I think that might have been the case, but she could have had nothing. It could have been a value, but I mean, I just, I just don't know what was going on in that hand. You have to admit, Roland, there's, there's something nice about seeing a bunch of hands which are unexpected and baffling, both in the way they turn out and the way they've played. Yeah, it's been a refreshing hit today to watch. Compared, to, your expectations have been confounded in a good way. Time people get sort of bored of the same old, same old. Little formats can just change the strategy completely. But how much to play for here? Yeah. I mean, oh. quite literally, they're competing for a place with Annie Duke out of the running. True. Sure. They're competing for a place in the final. Check. Six thousand. Either Alex. Or Marcel getting second place here. Well, Eddie, would or Eddie, even though he's short stack, would put a, a severe amount of pressure on you. Yeah, I'm rooting for Vicky at the moment. If she can sneak into the top two. Fourteen total. Three all in. Oh my gosh! Sharf check raise Kravchenko, and with uh, with top pair, Nas make a decision for all his chips. I may not have as many as I think I have. He feels like he should call. He feels, Roland, that uh, getting...
getting knocked out of the playoffs is so unlikely. It seems like. Well, there's 35,000 in here already. He's, yeah. all, he's only going to be left with a handful. He's got no hand. I mean, yeah. he, it's a six, real seven, misstep here. Nine, seven. The check raise? Yeah, I mean. You think it's call here anyway. You think it's call. I think it's close. I, I, it's 34K he's still got left. Actually, I'd add towards a fold. He's only we re were re 16. I, th I think he can fold her. I don't think you do. I don't think he does really, Kravchenko, even though he knows he might have the best hand. It's a nice pot for him to oh, just take It's so down. tough, this one, for Eddie Scharf. I feel for him here. He may... Uh, the tournament director has put Scharf on the clock, Roland. What's he going to do? I think he's going to fold. What do you think, Jesse? I think he's going to fold, too. <laughs> <laughs> it was much easier for me. All I had to do was agree with you. <laughs> Almost the race. Come on. Wow. Four tens, jack three jacks, three queens. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the happiest person in the building could be Vicky Corn right now. But uh, for Eddie Scharf, he is now going to have to look over his shoulder, Roland. Likely, likely he'll be there, but not guaranteed. There's certain things that we already know about this Premier League. We know that Tony, Tony G... I steamrolled every heat. He's played, and Andy Black been in fantastic form. They're in the final. We know that Phil Helmuth is out. We know that Ian Fraser is out. Everyone else in between awaits the result of this heat. Keep going. I need to protect the button. Of course. This sort of sedate kind of everybody play right now to defend. Defend on the button. It has something to do with the small blinds, and it also it has to do something to do with the fact that both these guys feel like they're better. Could you have ice king this this time? No. I can. Then the other in poker. I think no. It's when do I get? I check. Check. You know, Lusk loves to play flops with people. Alex says, "Well, you want to play flops? Let's play flops." How do? Yeah. I wonder if Marcel might fire her. 8,000. Oh, Alex is so lucky today. I tell you what. Uh, What's your kicker to the king? Dang good. Dang good. Kravchenko is not going to be bluffed by Marcel He's tonight. He's made every decision correctly. Give him a 10. Thank you. You're generous. If there it is. Like oh, my. 10,000. 10,000. Queen. Queen. Nice. Of queen wins. I know. Yeah. I know I need a queen to win, but uh, you have to pay 10,000. <laughs> that was big for momentum. I, I understand mean, your story now, what you're telling. So. <laughs> I know I had you beat with my queen high. You know, some people just watch the others so go over fold. Niagara Falls, you know but Kravchenko I still knew, got hit in the head with a barrel. Obviously, so much still to play for, Roland, and you've been uh, kind of listening to the gossip in the green room. What are the other players saying in there? Uh, well, I just spoke to Yoha. <laughs> He's a little bit uh, just perturbed because cool. for him to... Me, just watch what Alex, Alex might say. He's luckily for Vicky. She, she had nothing. Yeah. I mean, he's he's got a strategy which is designed to kind of play a big pot and knock somebody out, isn't he? Yeah. yeah he's, he just limp with aces. I mean, this could be massive if it comes something like... Well, Seven high flop with a straight draw. Yeah, something, like something like that is not, not, not like ideal this. for Marcel. Yeah. Lusk has been induced into bluffing into Kravchenko Alex several play, times. Alex wants to play a small pot, but it, it, it could be... A, It'd be unfortunate. For that. I mean, that's a bad card for. In a way, it's a bad card for Marcel. Okay. Now Alex will bet. Eight thousand. Just the the different Call decisions these guys are making about how to play their hands sort of early. It's like 
they're they're looking to get into pots because they know they need to win all the chips, so right? It's hard for a blank to come off here with the flush drills and stuff. You mm. need the flush drill just became a made hand. Check. Is it still worth a value bet? Yes. If only just not to have to turn over your hand. Sixteen thousand. Marcel hasn't like like laying things down. He's gonna say he doesn't have a flush draw. He thinks there's no flush draw. A lower card would have been better for Alex to get paid here. But I mean, the straights missed. Um, Marcel obviously has bluffed Kravchenko several times. I can't recall Kravchenko getting caught bluffing. Really, in the Premier League uh, uh, on the river. Uh, but 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 situations have changed. You know what? That just gave Marcel a good kicker. I mean, they even improved his kicker. There were actually a few hands here that, that could have missed the draw here. Cool. Two pairs. Oh. Very good. Yeah, the bullets hold up for Kravchenko. Took the bite out of Marcel there. Mm. I mean, the one big part Marcel has won from Alex, he really had to get out of jail on the river, didn't he? There are different strategies for going into these into these tournaments, and I don't think that certain players have pulled out the right strategy. I think that... Um, Pull in. Pull in with, with the ace. Deuce. It's a count of 50,000 plus a few yellows. Wow, such a horrible Gee. hand to put it in with ace-deuce, but, I mean, it's the correct play. You just hate to do it. She's found nothing, and Kravchenko has found pocket tens. Wow. He could only pass here if I call. It, I call. Uh, I was gonna say if he actually yeah, thinks that Vicky staying in is better for him. He knows it's the best hand by yes. all the shot. <sighs> they and, always uh, find the big hand when I move in. They always find it. She actually hasn't had much luck with the big move all in. She has been a bit unlucky here. Well, she got the she got the pocket threes three, but this is she has walked into something big. But she's got the out. The ace comes a lot. Hasn't flopped it. This is. Uh, Obviously, Vicky still will have a good chance of making the playoffs, but it opens things up for both the Devilfish and Yuha Helpy here. Yes, and as an ace comes, Yuha's still going to be in with the shot. Oh. Core in third. I, I think it was a, a, a brave performance from Vicky to, to grab those three points, uh, it was, Roland. It was. Obviously, it's not settled for her, but she's given herself a nice number on the board. She means I can't bagel the final. That's given you a healthy a lifeline for his last team. That meant the world to me. I mean, I would have been out otherwise. You know, before going to this hit, the things that had to happen for me to be out was that Annie and Ian had to be the two first ones out and Vicky had to be in top two. So that was like one out of 100 maybe, but it almost happened anyway. I really had to sweat this one and I'm really happy now. I still have a chance. I'm guaranteed a playoff spot now. I mean, it would have really hurt. I was up in the top four or five all the time, and then to fall down back to ninth, that would have really sucked. That would have really sucked. Really really I'm happy for him too, he's a big guy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm in a weird position because my fate totally depends on the last match. I mean, if I got no points today, I would be out. You know, I managed to get three points. Now, I'm out if Devilfish or Yuha wins the last match. If neither of them win it, I'm in the playoffs. So what I'm hoping is that Phil Helmuth, who's had a really terrible tournament, will think, right, it's my last chance to demonstrate that I'm the best in the world, play a magnificent game, knock everyone out, and then I'm through. <laughs> so that's good you can finish on first Playing play. for it all. Yeah, if you if you give me in the jacks, sense, like players, Roland, nine that nine the winner here guaranteed to be on the, the final nine table. Nine table. The loser yeah, will have a nine chance nine at uh, yeah, the automatic to top four, like but more yeah. likely... No race. Uh, like to be in the in the in the heads up. It's like a heads up game in itself, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's heads up for the final as, as it's as it's turned out. Right. Check. Check. Ten thousand. This is a cold deck. A little cold. I mean, it's just a question of how many chips he's going to lose here. Raised to thirty thousand. Cold. Wow. A, do uh, a deuce here spells real trouble. A deuce or just a blank card. That's a blank card. How much are you going to look? I start with 190, so it must be... 150. Now? 
not so much. It's <coughs> around 200, 150 or something. 75. 75,0. Wonder what was going through Marcel's mind before Kravchenko made that. Wow. Oh wow! Wow! It's a massive misstep from Lusk. The, the, with these blinds levels, how's he put in so yeah, much, Jesse? Jack, if you don't have Jack, we could go straight. Three and six thousand only, and yes. It's five out for the final for Kravchenko. He's, 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 he's done Sometimes. it. He's about to do it. He's knocking on the door of the final. He waited all this time. His first win, but he's been brilliant tonight. Absolutely brilliant, I have to say. He's there! He is. And he deserves it. I'm very happy with my result. I finally win the hit. Also, I played good, I think. The only questionable hand was with Queen 9, but still, I'm, I think I was trying to gamble a little bit there because I know I need to win this hit. And that's why. We still have uh, a chance to get in the top, playing the final title. Uh, the thrill is there. They're still battling, you know, everybody needs those last points. Now it's uh, more than ever before because everybody is aware of it. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do, I will watch. With one match to go in the league, you can see there has been a lot of drama. Tony G and Andy Black, they're still locked in. But Alex Kravchenko, the big victory, sealing his final table place. Marcel Lusk is up there for now. But big chance that Roland DeWolf with a game in hand will come out of this playoff zone and take Marcel's place in the promotional zone. Annie Duke and Eddie Scharf, they are guaranteed now to be in the playoffs. But Vicky Corrin, her position very tenuous because in the relegation zone, Devilfish and Yuha Helpy with the game in hand, a win by them in their final match will knock Vicky out of the Premier League. Next time, it's still in play, and the Devilfish and Yuha Helpy, they've got to do it all if they want to do anything more here on the Party Poker Premier League Poker.